Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am going to explain about uh, LCM and HCF topic. Uh, LCM and HCF is very important uh, for all competitive examinations as well as uh, you know uh, for all entrance examinations. Uh, uh, this is the basic and foremost uh, important chapter to learn uh, 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 to solve the problems related to any other chapters. Uh, why? Because uh, whatever the applications which we are learning in LCM and HCF, those applications are very much helpful for uh, remaining topics. So, LCM and HCF is the basic and foremost important chapter. We must learn this particular chapter. First, uh, what is LCM? What is LCM and what is HCF? That we will learn. LCM, full form of LCM is uh, least common multiple lcm is nothing but least common multiple what is the definition of lcm what is the definition of lcm here lcm is nothing but lcm is nothing but the least number the least number which is exactly divisible by which is exactly divisible by all the given numbers which is exactly divisible by all the given numbers all the given numbers that is called as uh, lcm once repeat the definition here lcm is nothing but uh, that is the least number which is exactly divisible by all the given numbers whatever the numbers which are mentioned in that particular problem whether those are two numbers three numbers four numbers five numbers it doesn't matter here lcm is nothing but uh, lcm is nothing but the least number which is exactly divisible by all the given numbers that is called as uh, lcm now coming to hcf coming to hcf uh, HCF, the full form of HCF is uh, highest common factor. Highest common factor. HCF is nothing but highest common factor. Now, let's go for the definition of HCF. HCF is the highest number or greatest number. Highest number or greatest number or largest number, whatever the statement you can call, it doesn't matter. Highest, largest uh, and uh, greatest. Highest number which divides, which divides, HCF is nothing but the highest number which divides the given numbers, which divides the given numbers that is called as uh, hcf that is the difference between lcm and uh, hcf uh, here lcm is nothing but uh, that is the least number which is exactly divisible by all the given numbers and uh, hcf is nothing but that is the highest number or greatest number which divides the all the given numbers that is uh, the called as uh, hcf and uh, one more point related to hcf which is nothing but uh, HCF is also called as uh, GCD. HCF also called as uh, GCD. HCF is also called as GCD. GCD means uh, greatest common divisor. Greatest common divisor. That is called as uh, GCD. HCF as well as GCD both are same. Right? Next one. See here. Here, basically, we can calculate LCM as well as uh, HCF. Both LCM as well as HCF, we can calculate by two methods. One is uh, factorization method. Factorization method. And the second one is long division method factorization method and the second one is uh, long division method most of the cases uh, we will use long division method for calculating both lcm 
as well as uh, HCF. Regarding these two methods, I will discuss in the next chapter, uh, next session, and uh, I will explain uh, what is a uh, factorization uh, method and what is a uh, long division method by taking a uh, few examples in the next session. And uh, let's move on to the another concept uh, which you have to learn in this uh, LCM and HCF is uh, here. One more definition that you must uh, remember in this topic, in this concept, that is uh, co-prime numbers. What is meant by co-prime number? What is meant by co-prime number? Very important. Uh, two numbers doesn't have any common factors. Two numbers doesn't have two numbers doesn't have any common factor any common factor except one except one then those numbers are called as uh, co-prime numbers two numbers doesn't have any common factor except uh, one then those numbers are called as uh, co-prime numbers uh, see for example if you take a uh, uh, those two numbers may be either prime numbers or composite numbers or else one is prime number, one is composite number. It doesn't matter. If you take both are prime numbers, definitely those numbers are uh, co-prime numbers. Uh, why? Because uh, two prime numbers doesn't have any common factor. Why? Because see here, every prime number is having only two factors. That is one and itself. Uh, so, definitely those two prime numbers are always uh, co-prime numbers. I will take 3 and 11. These are two prime numbers. These two prime numbers doesn't have any common factor. So, except one. So, that is a co-prime number. I will take a one prime number, one composite number. If I take 3 along with 8. Here, 3 is a prime number, but 8 is not a prime number. This is composite number. One prime number, one composite number. Here, the factors for this 3. 1 comma 3 and factors for 8 1 2 4 8 there is no other common factor except 1 why we are saying except 1 because 1 is a factor of each and every number 1 is a factor of each and every number that is the reason why we are not uh, taking 1 as a common factor right and uh, another example if you take uh, both are uh, Composite numbers. Let us take 8 and 25. 8 and 25. Just now we had written that uh, for the number 8, uh, the factors are 1, 2, 4, 8. Whereas coming to 25, coming to 25, the factors are 1, 5, and 25. There is no other common factor except uh, 1 for these numbers. These both are, these uh, 8 and 25 both are composite numbers. 3 and 8 both are, uh, in this uh, 1 is prime number, 1 is composite number. Here these two are uh, prime numbers. Uh, whatever the combination you have taken, uh, it doesn't matter. But only thing is, uh, those two numbers doesn't have any common factor except uh, 1. That is the condition for co-prime numbers. Uh, one more concept. Here it is, uh, product of two numbers, product of two numbers is equal to LCM into HCF. Product of any two numbers is equal to LCM into HCF. This concept is used whenever two numbers uh, LCM is given, two numbers HCF is given and one of the numbers is mentioned. It means that uh, A into B is equal to LCM into HCF. Here, A and B are two numbers. Uh, among these two numbers, one number will be given and their LCM will be given and HCF will be given. We need to find the second number. Second number is very easy to find once you know. Out of four variables, if you know any three variables, it is very easy to find the fourth variable. And uh, next one. How to calculate LCM of fractions as well as uh, HCF of fractions? LCM of fractions is equal to 
LCM of numerators. LCM of numerators divided by HCF of denominators. HCF of denominators. LCM of fractions is nothing but whenever fractions are given, in that case, uh, LCM of fractions is equal to LCM of numerators by HCF of denominators. In the similar fashion, if you want to calculate HCF of fractions, HCF of fractions, HCF of fractions is equal to just reciprocal of previous one, HCF of numerators, HCF of numerators divided by LCM of denominators, LCM of denominators. This is how we are calculating LCM of fractions as well as uh, HCF of fractions. Uh, in the next session, we will discuss about uh, factorization method as well as uh, long division method of doing LCM and uh, HCF. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.